In the world of hardware wallets, one name has been king, Ledger. Ledger. Small, simple, it does what it says on the tin. But a new breed of wallet is emerging to spit in the face of the feisty Frenchies. Promising an end-to-end -end solution, fingerprint scanners, EAL7, advanced key generation touchscreens, a thoroughly modern, thoroughly secure, thoroughly scary. Wow, what is this for? Experience. But I'm sure you're thoroughly intrigued, and we will get right to it after this. Acquisition Royale is a mergers and acquisitions battle royale game. You can think of it as a mix between a deflationary NFT collection and a PvP play-to-earn game. The game is developed by PrePO, which is a gamified DeFi exchange that gives you exposure to pre-IPO and pre-token markets like SpaceX or Metamask. Start building your empire at acquisitionroyale.com and unlock exclusive items for your pre-PO profile. DeFi users, you no longer need to pay expensive and unpredictable interest rates on your ETH loans. Liquity, a decentralized borrowing protocol, allows you to borrow against your ETH interest-free. Loans are paid out in LUSD, a USD-pegged stablecoin, and need to maintain a minimum collateral ratio as low as 110%. To learn more, head over to liquity.org forward slash defiant to get started and get the most out of your borrowing needs today. So this is it. We have something physical to shoot in, no, where is it? Ha! This is the engrave. And this is a very exciting box. Actually on the back, there's something you notice straight away and it says, made in Belgium. Not made in China. No, this is made in Belgium, just across the border. Let's open it up. Ah, here's the first message. Start truly owning what is yours. That's their slogan. That's the big message here. Start truly owning what is yours. And there's, of course, if you've been following the Celsius saga, you know that it's not your keys, not your coins. First thing we see is this. This is the what we traditionally think of as a hardware wallet, a Singular device, you've seen a ledger, similar kind of thing. But this one is obviously a lot bigger. And on the back, you will find a thumbprint or fingerprint scanner. That is the fingerprint scanner. And on the top, oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good, wait for it. Oh, wow. I think I might need a bit of a lie down. But as you can see, this is kind of a nice device, a bit like an iPhone, compare them in size. There you go. So this is quite a commitment to have in your wallet or in your pocket. I don't know how you can put that in your wallet, but hey. Uh, and what we have here is uh, a USB-C port as well. And then something here, I have no idea what that is. I think that's the power button. And there we go. What else do we have in the box? Mm, some lovely foam rubber, USB-C cable, and then my favorite bit of all, <laughs> this. So if someone tries to wrench attack you, $5 range attack and take your keys off you, you can just Stab them with this. There's actually a reason why this is in here, and hopefully that'll all become clear. Now, got some information. Yeah, so there's three components to this engrave solution. You have zero, which is the device. You have graphene, and I think we have the graphene in here. Wow, holy moly, these things are heavy. So these are two stainless steel plates. And the idea behind this is that you take your private key and you punch it into the plate here. This plate on top is completely unique and it has a unique identifier code here. We'll jump into that in a second. And then you have this second plate underneath and that's where all the holes are punched. And that will tell you, once you put them together, your private key. And the idea is that you can take these apart, put them in separate places, and then you have a secure key. I've been working with these little things, you have your pen here and you write it on the thing here. That fits nicely in my safe. This will not. So thank you, Engrave, I'm gonna to have to buy a bigger safe. Damn it. So now we know all of that, you know how we do. This is hot and spicy. There's only one thing left to do. We're gonna just see what happens if you pour chili sauce on the device itself, just like this. Of course we're not gonna do that. We're not Philistines, what do you think we are? Come on. Let's get into the details. So the engrave isn't just one device, it's really a three-piece suit with the zero, the graphene punch plate, 
and then the Liquid mobile app making the whole proposition. The Zero itself features a four inch touchscreen with a fingerprint scanner and a basic camera for scanning QR codes. Now this whole device is fully air gapped, so no Wi-Fi, no USB, no NFC, no Bluetooth, no access point for any malicious actor to network their way in. Now I know you, what you're wondering, it's like, why is this cable here? Well, there is a USB-C port right here, but this is for charging it and that's it. But most importantly of all, this is an EAL7 certified device. In fact, it's the only financial product anywhere in the world to have this certification, or so they claim. EAL, Evaluation Assurance Level 7. That's the highest you can get. Formally verified, designed and tested, whatever that means. Suitable for extremely high risk situations where the high value of the assets justifies the higher costs. I just bought $1 million worth of Ethereum. And by comparison, the Keystone hardware wallet, which comes with a pretty similar set of features, is only rated EAL5+, which is still pretty good, but it's not EAL7. Now the punch plate is made of durable, corrosion resistant stainless steel. This is basically pretty much as tough as it gets. And it comes in two parts like this. The top plate features the alphanumeric characters you need to back up your seed phrase. And there's also a code for obtaining a duplicate of this plate if you lose it. But obviously you'll need a safe place to keep that code. They recommend writing it down on a piece of paper, putting it maybe in a safe or something like that. Then the second plate, well, this is the one that you're gonna punch with this little jabber here. And that's what you're gonna do when you set up your device. Now you cannot replace the punched plate, but you can get a blank one and make a duplicate of that as many times as you want because this will always remain the same. By the way, these are completely unique. So this is the only one of its type. It has a unique code. There is not a single other one like it. This is yours. Of course, they do recommend keeping these two in separate locations. So once you've punched this through, then that's what you're gonna do. Finally, there's the mobile app Liquid, and this will give you access to your balances and allow you to sign transactions and view any NFTs you might have. So setting the engrave up is, well, it's quite complicated and involves quite a few steps. You have to sync it up with your phone via the onboard camera. That will give you a code. You enter that code into your phone. Then you set up a pin code and bear in mind the alphanumeric touchpad is different every time. Then you're gonna scan your fingerprint. Once your fingerprint's registered, you'll get a randomized seed phrase. You can shuffle that seed phrase, lucky you, and then you enter that seed phrase into your punch plate. Don't copy mine off the screen, I've changed it and you keep punching and keep punching and keep punching until you have this lovely pattern of dots and that represents your seed phrase. Final step is to set up your coins on the app, whichever network you want to use. Then once again, sync that with your phone via the QR codes. Everything is done via QR codes on Engrave and look at that, you're done. And the whole thing took about 20 minutes. So this is still very much a product in development. There's a decent selection of network supported, mostly older ones like Bitcoin, Zcash, and Ripple, but there are some newer faces there too, like Elrond and Solana with Cardano and Avalanche expected to follow, but your ERC20 tokens will work just fine. Other highlights from the roadmap include a crucial MetaMask integration, a fiat on-ramp, passphrase access, and a BTC multi-sig. And looking further ahead, we'll see more DeFi-focused utilities such as portfolio tracking, ENS name integration, swaps, and staking. So what do I like about this? Well, firstly, it feels like a premium unit. It's really nicely made, it's heavy. I like the fact it's got a fingerprint scanner on it and the touchscreen is just giving you a lot more information that you would find on a ledger, for instance. And I like the fact that when you type in your pin code, every time that order is on screen, they change it up so the ones and the twos and threes are never in the same place at the same time. So if someone is watching you from a distance, they might see you type in some numbers, but they wouldn't necessarily be able to repeat that order the next time. Signing transactions is a breeze. You're using QR codes. It's a visual representation. There's no networking involved, and that's really nice. And then the touchscreen. It's just nice to be able to use a touchscreen. I also like the fact that it's an end-to-end -end solution. You get the punch plates, you get the touchscreen device, you get a nice app with it as well. And the fact that it's EAL7, it's the only one. I mean, it gives you an assurance that this thing has been tested and verified to the very highest standards. 
So let's get to the things I didn't like so much about it. I mean, it's a big unit. You think you've got your phone in your pocket, you've got this thing as well. I would love to have seen like a bag or a pouch to carry it in. This feels just a bit naked and it's heavy. Genuinely, it's pretty heavy. Other things I didn't like so much, this USB-C port. I put the cable in and it just feels like, I'm not entirely sure where it's going. It feels a little uncertain. It feels a little bit, I don't know, loose, wobbly, and at risk of being broken. The OS, well, when you're swiping around on the screen, it doesn't feel like an iPhone. It doesn't, feel, it doesn't have that immediacy. Um, maybe the process is not fast enough, but it just feels like it's a little bit laggy. And then these plates. They are enormous. I had bought a safe to put my um, little plates in, but I'm going to have to buy another one because these plates are too big. I know why they've done this, but um, they are enormous and I would have liked to see smaller ones. But honestly, that's a pretty small nitpicky amount of stuff to be worrying about when you have a device this secure. And if you're very, very, very serious about your crypto and want to keep it very, very safe, then I think most of that is stuff that you can probably live with. So the big question, how much does it cost? Well, it ain't cheap. This base zero unit retails for 398 euros, while a combo pack with the graphene punch plates goes all the way up to 498 euros, with a spare lower punch plate going for 28 euros. By comparison, a Legend Nano X costs 149 euros, while the Keystone Ultimate Edition retails for 479 dollars, which is pretty much 479 euros. So would I recommend anyone to buy it? Well, I'd recommend to have a look at it. It's definitely a sexy device. It's definitely a device with some pretty baller security features. And having spoken to the CEO of the project, I'm kind of confident that they know where they're going and they're taking this stuff very, very seriously. We come from a, from a history of personal hacks. Um, some were actually quite large. So my co-founder and CTO Xavier uh, was a victim of the Parity Multisig hack with his previous blockchain project. They lost 44,000 eat in a single day, uh, but we were also able to actually sort of drain all the other eat projects that were at that point running on eat. Uh, about 500 projects, 200 million dollar plus in uh, crypto that we were able to save. Um, and beyond that, uh, we basically came came together and started um, challenging each other with a very straightforward question, simply like, okay, let's say tomorrow you have to put all your crypto in one place and you're able to sleep at night, where will you put it? And so we realized, and that was about 2017, 18, that there simply wasn't a solution like that out there. So we decided in April 2018 to actually build that thing ourselves. And this eventually led us to the first really end-to-end -end self custody solution in the world, consisting of Zero as a hardware wallet, Graphene as a backup, and mobile application liquid. What we wanted to build was not just hardware, not just crypto, but also maximum security. So if you combine combine those three elements into, let's say, a pitch deck to an investor or just uh, to, to the daily life of your team. It is, it is one of the biggest entrepreneurial challenges you can have. You really want to protect users. We think in terms of how many users do you want to protect by, let's say, 2032, 500 million users. When you think about it, hardware is hard. It's very difficult to make a device like this and make it really, really work. But security is evolving. And I think we'll see more and more devices like this come on the market and hopefully that will bring the price down as well. I hope that was useful for you. This was our hot and spicy take on the Engrave Zero plus graphene plus liquid. It's three in one. It was amazing. This was the Defiant. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.